G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. Thanks so much for being here today. I am going to do my little bunny today because, uh, you know, Easter is just around the corner. Hope I can get this done just before Easter. I should have started earlier, but um, yeah. I've done a couple of other Easter videos, but anyway, my, better late than never. So I've got my bunny mold and uh, I thought I'd really like to do a night light because there's not many molds that you can fit a night light into. The bunny will fit that. Now, these are the ones that I got. Uh, mini night light, 12 pieces. Uh, I'll see if I can find the link that I got them from. I got them from Amazon. Novelty Place. 12 pieces. So, yeah, Novelty Place. That's them there. Look at that. Uh, they weren't too expensive. And that's how big they are. There's my, there's my thumb. <coughs> Excuse me. Early morning <coughs> croaky voice. <laughs> so they already come with a battery in them. Look at that. You might not be able to see all that well with these bright lights, but it changes colour. Green, blue, purple. What else have we got? White, yellow, kind of a light blue, back to sort of a pink, oh pink, that's pretty. What else have we got? White, a bit of an orangey colour. <clears throat> anyway, so that's, that's, that's great. I love it. And, uh, Obviously, it's going to fit into my my mold. That's that's where it comes up to. So plenty of room. Uh, I will have to try and figure out how I'm going to suspend it in there uh, because you know otherwise it'll just sink. So anyway, that'll be that'll be the next the next challenge. Um, here's my turtle mold. It also just fits in my turtle mold. Look at that just fits in my turtle mold so that'll be coming up too coming up soon i'll be doing it i'll be doing it in a purple in a turtle a purple because i've got lots so i'm gonna have to do lots so anyway today the bunny now i really want because it's going to be a night light i thought how pretty would it look in a little girl's room with the little light on it um with some butterflies and then just clear resin like oh my gosh how gorgeous you could put like a teensy wincy little drop of pink in there but um, otherwise, just, just clear. So I was thinking to myself, oh my God, how on earth am I going to get these butterflies to, to stand up in the resin? You know, they're just going to sink. They're going to move. They're just going to... So anyway, I thought, oh gosh. How about we just do a little bit of UV resin and put them where I want to put them. These are, these are just a packet of... I don't even know if these are stickers, actually. But anyway, I don't, I don't, wanna, I don't want them to be sticky, so... But um, look, look how cute that would look. See that? So what I thought I would do is I'm going to try with the UV resin. I've got some different sizes. There was the packet had like a whole heap of butterflies in it, all different colours, and I've just picked out the pink ones. But I thought, and I don't know if this is going to work, you guys. I don't know. Let's just try it. <sighs> Something in there. Um, now, obviously, because if I just... If, it's a bit hard for you to see. If I just put that there like that, see there's a gap underneath because because it's curved there, the butterfly kind of wants to sit flat. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little bit of UV resin on the tips of the wings and stick it in there. That way the resin, when I pour the resin, it can still go underneath. So does that make sense? Anyway, that's that's what I'm going to try and do. So let's let's do this. Let's get this done. Enough chit chat. But I was thought I'd try and explain to you what I was doing and it needs to have a little bit in there I think and I'm going to do it this way so I can see what I'm doing oh gosh kind of didn't want it to um yeah I don't really know what I'm doing you guys I don't really know oh gosh okay now I've got some resin sitting in there all right, let's just 
And you've got to make sure that your butterfly is facing the right way too. Where did that go? Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold it there and I'm going to do I'm going to use this my UV light as I'm holding you can see I'm holding it there and I'm holding it there so let's just cure that real quick you may have a different way of doing this I, I don't know and also there's the chance that the butterflies could just pop right off I guess they could pop right off if I haven't sort of attached them properly We'll see. It's going to take a little while. Is it working? I don't know. I don't know if it's working or not. The good thing about this though, like if it doesn't stick, just take your butterfly out, peel off the UV resin and start again. It's no big deal. I guess it might take a little while just to get the hang of the hang of it. Okay, I've got one side stuck in. This one's, this one's still flapping in the wind. I obviously <laughs> haven't put it in the right spot. It's, oop, I might take the lid off. I can see where it wants to touch there. So let's just put a little bit of UV resin there. Oops, I've run down into the head there. Okay, let's try that. See how we go. I can't stop and pa um, pause the video, guys, so just... Fast forward while I'm doing this. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I've got a few few different butterflies there. Uh, different sizes that I'll use. Well, that looks like it's worked. Let's do the inside as well. So you can use your little lamp if you want, or you can use the um, you know the bigger one for one that you can put your hand under. Let's do both sides. I like this though because I can sort of put it where I want it and hold this at the same time. Just got this on Amazon. I think the postman doesn't like me very much because every day, every second day, there's a delivery for Julie from Amazon. Oh. All right, that'll do. That will do. Oh gosh, now this side's lifted up sides lifted up the sides are down it's because you know it's, it's squishy I think you're gonna have to be really careful about touching it moving it maybe I just need a little bit more because every time you squish it it might because it's so bendy it might just sort of pop off so we'd have to be really careful about how we hold it I guess I guess from from doing this, try not to try not to bend, like just keep it straight, um, and then just do a little bit on the ends or on the end there, just enough to hold it. Um, even if it's just like you know standing like that, and you've just got a little bit on the bottom, like that. As long as it's enough just to hold it in place, uh, you know, until you've got everything in, and then you can pour your resin in and cross fingers that it um, it stays. Okay, hopefully that stays. All right, I'm gonna, I won't bore you with the rest of them. I'm going to just take my time and do the rest of them. And uh, then I'll come back to you when it's time to pour the resin in.
Okay, I think I've got them in there as best as I can. <laughs> There's some blank areas on the little feet here, but I don't have any butterflies that are small enough to go in there. Uh, this was the packet. I ended up finding a couple of little purple ones as well um, because I didn't have enough of the pink, so we've got a couple of little purple ones there as well. So yeah, you get a lot, a lot of butterflies in this pack and they just, they're all multicolored and I actually didn't see any doubles, which is good. I know a lot of packets of sticker things, there's two of everything, but yeah, it just says butterfly stickers. I don't know, just search butterfly stickers on Amazon or Timu. Now, um, I've got my resin mixed up, uh, 300 grams, which probably won't need all of it. I'm using the Let's Resin Deep Pour Resin because I can fill the whole thing in one, one layer, which is good. Um, now, I think, it, I don't look, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to float or sink or what, but I thought if I put it in and it floats, I can put that over the top. It's just a couple of pop sticks with some masking tape and then I can weigh some, put something heavy on it, but I'm not going to know until I do it. And then I thought, well, if I do fishing line, where am I going to, like, where do I tie it, sort of thing. I could, and then I thought I could put some um, UV resin on there, but then how do I cure it? <laughs> I could do glue, but I don't have any super glue. So anyway, long story short, we're just, we're just going to go with it and see what happens, okay? And hopefully it won't, um, hopefully this won't float too much. All right, now I'm going to have to be really careful about where I'm pouring this. I'm going to put a little bit in first because I want to try and just make sure that I'm getting it in the ears. So what I'm doing is down here I'm just going to I'm just kind of squeezing the ears. I mean there's no stickers in there but I just need to make sure that we're getting the resin into into those ears. Hopefully there's some in there. Oh, my butterfly just popped off. The butterfly just popped off. <gasps> Gosh. I better put some more UV resin on that little butterfly there. Just, oops, just there. It's tricky, it's tricky. Okay. Guess if you don't like finicky, tricky little things, maybe don't try this, but we'll see. Might be all right. I'm just going to hold that little bit of pressure there while the UV's going off. Like I said, it's best try not to bend your little butterfly sticker because it's going to want to pop off. So try maybe even if you just get one corner of one wing glued down just to hold it uh, rather than have it bent. All right, hopefully that's enough. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> I do like to make things hard on myself, don't I? So I'm going to try and pull the resin onto the stick just so it's not going splash, splash. I saw a little bubble. Oh, I don't know where it's gone now. I saw a little bubble. I think it might have gone behind that butterfly oh I don't know all right I'm pouring slowly so hopefully any bubbles that kind of are in there can come up to the top and pop but there's really no bubbles at all in this resin it's really amazing resin it's like water 
Okay. Don't torch, okay? Don't torch. There's too much silicone around there. You're going to melt something. All right, let's see if this is going to, to work. Oh, my gosh. Now, this... Oh. The issue is, if it tips over and then resin gets in the top here, that's going to be a problem. I wonder if it's going to float or not. I'm trying to sit it just here where it's not going to kind of... Oh, ah, don't, don't flip over, don't flip over. Okay. I think it'll be all right, you guys. I'm going to actually put this on now. Don't flip over. Gosh. If I do that now and then put something on it, I'm just going to, actually that's a bit heavy. Ah, can someone pass me something? <laughs> oh, what can I put on it? What can I put on it? Oh, I've got a little container and I'll put some ink on it. Just, just for now, just to stop, just to stop that um, little light from spinning around. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going here. That seemed to work okay, you guys. Let's just hope it stays where it's supposed to stay. I don't think it can flip over now. The little light. I mean, I don't think it can flip over because it's got that on top of it, and because it's. You know hollow in the middle it's quite buoyant so it wants to wants to kind of float so, so I don't think it's going to sink and flip over at all oh my gosh this is nerve-wracking if you find a little bubble on top just you can just pick it out pick it out all right uh, no I don't want to touch it I don't want to touch it I don't want to go squeezing tails or heads or anything I'll just leave it and Look, if I get a tiny bubble caught under a, a sticker, then so be it. But uh, that's the best I can do. And hopefully my best is, hopefully my best is good enough. <laughs> All right, there we go. Oh, this is, this is fun. Uh, I do like to challenge myself though, don't I? I do. All right, so here we go. That's what it looks like. I mean, I could have ideally put a few more stickers in because there's nothing down here. Whoops, where are we pointing? There's nothing down there or up here. But if I had some smaller stickers, like teensy wincy ones, I could have put some, you know, under the chin. And I did manage to get one. Where am I going? I did manage to get one there. But anyway, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. If it works, then um, maybe I can get some smaller stickers for next time. Or maybe little metal. I've got some little metal charms. I could have... UV them in with the UV resin. All right, so this is going to take a couple of days to cure now. So wish me luck. I'm not going to move it. I will see you in a couple of days. Okay, it has been two days, and that I've left this little bunny rabbit. So let's have a little look. I did sort of peel this off a little bit earlier just to make sure that it would come off, and it's come off fine. So a little bit of resin still left on there. Which is fine. All right. So it's looking good. It's looking. I just. I hope it's going to look all right once it's unmolded. Where, where will I start? Let's start here with some little feet. Now, just remember, we haven't got total total coverage with butterflies, but um, I think it'll still. I think it'll still look nice. I'm just going to kind of. Oh, look at that! I'm just going to loosen it all around first. A little bit of overflow okay where will we start where will we start i think if there's a head i think the head's usually the last thing that comes out it's probably easier just to do the head last but look it's not a difficult mold to unmold it's not one that's got um you know little feet and or toes and antenna and things like that it's generally pretty easy to unmold i just hope i managed to get the resin into into the ears okay there it is let's let's just put this back there we go put that back all right perfect 
Ah, look! <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, that is just adorable. Look at that! Oh my gosh, you guys. I love it. Looks pretty 3D. I think I maybe put that butterfly in backwards. <laughs> oh. There's like you can kind of see the butterflies on both sides, but one of one side's um like brighter than the other sides. The ears are perfect. No bubbles in the ears. Look at that. Perfect. And I discovered a little bit of a squeeze. So yeah, that was great. No vacuum chamber. Little butterfly under there little there's two butterflies in the head there and one on top oh look at the one on top that's worked really pretty this one's nice look at that centered right there in the middle that's the extra one i added that little turquoise one big pink one there i just noticed the light that white light in there like it's not that note oh, that's not that noticeable is it that this thing it's not that noticeable it's kind of hidden behind the um the butterflies so i think the only thing i did wrong it was put this butterfly in backwards never mind you can still see that it's pink all right and this side oh that looks good there oh look at that one there we go we got one down there in his tail a little one down there on his tail as well there's that one nice big full one there little one there little one there oh it's turned out really well okay now the big test the light how are we going to do this um i might actually take you down i'll turn all my ring lights off and uh we'll turn the light on i'll bring you over onto the other side of the studio on my my other workbench my packing order bench all right so here's our little bunny so let's just oops just flick this hope it works <gasps> it works oh my gosh all right there we go let's have a little look we'll go through all the colors oh it's so cool oh my gosh look at that how amazing would that be a little girl's room next to the bed i don't know that you can set it for one color i think it just changes but there are other lights that you can get um that's got like a little remote control thingy and you can set the color that you want i've done it in one of my skulls and you could also use that light instead of this light if you wanted to but i've used that light before and i just thought oh, it'd be nice to use some different lights i will link the light where i where i got it and i also link my little cute bunny mold look at that little little nose um, yeah, I'll link it for you so you can buy the bunny on my Amazon store in the US and uh, you can also buy it in my eBay store in, in Australia. So either way, that is just adorable. I love it. Okay, let me know what you think of it, guys. Oh, I'm so happy that it's turned out. I love the pink one. Look at that. Actually, that's another thing. I was debating whether to put a little bit of color in the actual resin. But I'm so glad I didn't now. Can you imagine if I had like pink resin in there and then it was going through and changing colours? It just wouldn't wouldn't stand out as well, would it? So I think clear is is just a perfect option. There's the front. Oh, I'm so happy with it. Oh. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed my video. Go and grab yourself a bunny while I still got some left for Easter. All right. Take care, guys. Love you all. Bye for now.